Hey, this is Kumar, so my new is Kid Guru. This is a, my new Mac vs. PC, not my new, but my, another Mac vs. PC video with a, excuse me, uh, my new webcam, my new Logitech, and uh, my uh, my uh, Presario C700 notebook. Uh, I can't wait till I get the Mac notebook. I'm hopefully getting it for my Christmas, which is coming up, or birthday, which is a week after Christmas. Either one's fine. But, you know, just want to do some vlogging on it with the new camera, because, sorry I haven't uploaded uh, screen captures lately, especially on Windows XP. I will get that done uh, this week. This is my prior That's my priority. But, anyways, Mac versus PC. Today's topic, I'm just going to go by topics now, really not numbers, but uh, program comparison, really, now I'm going to go by. So, like, for example, like, uh, iMovie and Movie Maker, you know. Stuff like that, but yeah, but I am actually gonna start off with iMovie versus Windows Movie Maker. Okay, first off, Mac versus PC, and uh, eMeek's been actually making a lot of great videos out there showing Final Cut Pro and stuff. Sorry, I got a blanket on, it's cold out here, but anyway, you know, and I haven't done anything lately and I want to do a video, so anyway, uh, first we're starting off with Mac. Uh, on Mac side, they have iMovie, which is a great video editor. I've seen it. I've even uh, haven't really had to work with much time to actually edit a video, but I've like played around and I've seen the effects. And for when I've and even videos I've seen, it's just great. And I people I've seen a lot of people pr prefer iMovie 06 to iMovie. Uh, I think it's the 08, the I like 08 uh, pack. But anyway, you know that's fine. Sometimes older is better. But anyway. Uh, it looks great and has way more effects and a easier interface and more organized interface to organize audio and video clips, effects, all that stuff than Windows. You know, it's just hard with a Vista. With this, I'll admit Vistas is better than my XP one because I actually like the effects and stuff there, but it's just a little glossier on the toolbars and stuff like that. Added more effects rather than that, not many more options. There is some options, but you know, the new iMovie, there's even that option that you can play the clip in the timeline, so that's way more useful rather than watching the whole movie, you know. And, you know, Vista's yet, with Vista, hopefully SP1 will even, you know, boost the morale of Vista. You know, but anyway, Windows Movie Maker, not many options at all. The effects aren't that great. You have to download filters. See, when you have to download your own filters, that's a thing. A little too far, too many, too, too much tweaking as it is, so I don't want to go through all of that. But anyways, next, uh, I show you and uh, software from like, for example, Camtasia. A lot of people use Camtasia. Uh, I personally, by TechSmith, you know, you know, TechSmith's a great, uh, great site and great, you know, company. But I don't, I prefer open source. Uh, it's not, depending on the. Uh, however you want to use open source, but Cam Studio, great product, it's free for my PC, that's what I use, but, uh, you know, I show you is awesome, I show you is awesome, and it, it can probably upload much faster than, you know, I have, on my old computer, I had problems uploading each frame by frame onto Windows Movie Maker, and, you know, I'd rather edit it with iMovie than that. And iMovie looks great, so I can't wait. If I get, I'm going to get I Show You, but it's by Shiny White Box, I believe, is the company. But it's a great product to screen capture with. And I don't really see, have a great, seem great alternative to the, you know, Mac. Uh, I mean, not, not, uh, to I Show You on the Mac. So I Show You is great as it is, you know, great quality, perfect cynic audio, uh, audio and video, great cynic from all the videos I've seen. The reviews are just nothing but, you know, good as, as I've seen. Uh, moving on. Uh, security more. AVG, now I'm talking about free free versions here. AVG Griffsoft, the free version, versus Clam XAV, Clam Zav, however, however it's pronounced for Mac. Now, first off, Mac does get, now there is, Mac does get viruses and does crash. Now, a lot of people say Mac doesn't get viruses and stuff. Okay, Macs do, it's just they have a less chance, a way less chance, because of what their, uh, you know, than a PC would. Now, mainly PCs, why they're getting this, is because one thing alone is operating system. Basically, well that's what I've, you know, 
I would understand, you know, unless you have, like, something in, in your uh, actual, like, motherboard or something wrong that's messing up the whole system itself, but other than that, mainly it's because, well, mine, they say a lot of, a lot of the reasons because the user of the computer, it's not the computer's fault, most of the time it's the user has done something to screw it up or, you know, like, tweak the registry editor and tweak something else by accident and screw up the whole thing or delete something else or stuff like that, and, uh, uh, you know, it's Windows itself, I, you know, just really, you know, mess of things after a while, but, you know, I got used to it, but, you know, there's just some, not, there's just some really key points that they just really have it fixed over a while, and XP was, like, so far as, like, the way better than Vista, than Vista, you know, all I've seen really of Vista is just glossier, glossier interface, that's it, you know, with... You know, with app, if you saw the keynotes by Steve Drop, you said you showed uh, what they've done in five years. I think it was with the release of Tiger Leopard, and you know, even the updated versions. Uh, you know what they have compared just to Vista, because of uh, this whole thing with Vista and uh, what was it, Longhorn? But you know, and soon, oh wait, uh, you know, they'd be the year of oh wait. And if you've seen the projections of CNET, I'll probably make a separate video for this also, but, you know, oh, sorry. Yes, that caught the hangnail there, but, anyway, uh, oh, it's probably going to be the improvement, you know, update year for Apple. Not really, you know, much new OS systems, just like, or OS, you know, like, uh, updates and stuff like that, like Tiger, Leopard, all that stuff. More you know, adding on, like, you know, you know, fixing stuff, uh, adding more updates, patches for, like, stuff like iTunes, uh, what is it, Apple TV, uh, updates to the soft, uh, OS system, stuff like that, mainly, maybe more software for the Mac, stuff like that, you know, the PCs had its time, and they've had each, you know, for the software and everything, now it's the Apple's turn, and, you know, oh, it's probably just going to be a great improving year for, uh, you know, Apple. And some other software comparisons real quick. I can squeeze it in. Let me think. Let me think. Hmm. Let me think. Well, first off, uh, I don't know if Apple has a thing like Paint, but Microsoft Paint itself, I, I looked at it. I thought it looked better for a second, and then I just noticed... On Vista, they just changed all the icons, basically. But just prettier, get a prettier paint job. That's all. All it is, pretty much. I use Paint.net. I I'd rather use open source software than you know the default. I don't know if Mac. I haven't really looked into that. Does Mac have you know you, you guys who have Apple out there? I haven't you know really have. They, we don't have an Apple store down here, so but we do have Macs down here, and I'm hoping I can get one. And you know really get used to it, but anyway, does it have, like, a graphics program right off the bat, like, paint, but, you know, it's probably way better than paint, but, and then, you know, going into programs you can buy, shake, Final Cut Pro, you know, Final Cut Pro is awesome, I've seen a lot of videos, reviews, everything, I've seen the interface, just great, you know, easy to use, easy to manage your stuff, has a lot of columns separately for your audio, video, effects, transitions, all that, all that stuff, right, on the interface of the Final Cut, easy to add stuff, easy to put frame, cut frames, all that stuff, and, you know, shake for your effects, and all that stuff just makes, it has great, great, great effects, and, you know, that's really why, you know, this, you know, people are saying Mac doesn't have much software, the big, you know, maybe the, the company-wise, like the so software they're selling, but, you know, I'm not saying they don't, they have uh, uh, lots of software out there, you know, but, you know, it doesn't, even if they didn't, it doesn't matter, because their products are great compared to, uh, you know, the Windows products. I'm not saying when all Windows products suck, you know, because I have to get my own products time to time, but, you know, if even if even if they didn't have a lot of software, but they do, they do. It's still great software, bar the none. So can't wait till I get that Mac notebook. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.